gracious, good afternoon. It's Betty from Betty's Creative Studio again. Sorry, I've been a wall for quite a bit, but uh, because I've been rearranging, it sealed a mess behind me, been rearranging uh, the way the store is laid out. But we just got in a huge shipment of stuff that I really wanted to share with you. But before we do that, I want to remind you that this Saturday, May 29th, at 1 p.m., we are doing this folio book again. And this is really cute, and you can do it in a variety of Graphic 45 paper and stickers. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I think this was $40. Um, it included everything you needed to do to make this library folio. Um, including it has, comes with these uh, white papers, which you may or may not use. They're like mats for photos to go in here. But be also nice if you did some mixed media pieces at 4 by 6 and kind of stored them in here as a little uh, show-off album of your wonderful mixed media pieces. But that would be a cool thing to do. Well, we have two seats left in this class if anyone is interested. And uh, we could do the binder in either black or white. Okay, so that is the library folio. And then the next thing I have on the schedule is uh, Wednesday, uh, June 9th. June already. It's like halfway through. Uh, we've got Art Journaling 102, we, uh, where we're going to do a little bit more advanced uh, uh, items. We're going to be working with spray inks um, on, on 102 and paint. So... Uh, if anybody's interested in that, you can sign up online or give me a jingle. Uh, let's say area code 352-513-4366 or Betty's Creative Studio 1 at gmail.com. Just drop me a line that you're interested. Or, you know, jingle us, email us, whatever. Okay, so that's all I've got sitting right now. I will be working on... Oh, let me grab this. This is another book that we're doing. Uh, I'm waiting for the materials to come in before I set the time for this class. But this is uh, a whole book um, with lots of little interesting pockets and fold-outs in it. You can't even see it. I'm not holding it up. But there you go. So this is all folded up and... Uh, more things in the middle there, and then in the back, we have this wonderful piece here that opens up that way, and that way, and that way, and that way. So you can store lots of photos or uh, journaling or whatever it is that makes you happy. I uh, just love putting these books together. This one is by Graphic, I'm uh, sorry, by 49 and Market. And it looks like one of my flowers. Oh, well, it's one of my frames. One of my frames for who that of that. Okay. Well, that's the front. That's the back. But, of course, when you do a class with me, you know, you can decorate them pretty much any way that you like. So that's coming up. Okay. Um, new products we got in. Uh, new person I like following for, she's not so new, but uh, for mixed media is, is Finnebar, Anna Finnebar from uh, Norway, I believe it is, or Denmark, or somewhere over there, all right? And so we just got in these, these adorable little jewels, get it up to the camera there, and they come in all different colors in the box, cute little box, these have 80 pieces in them. And we also got in clear ones, very clear. Mm -hmm. And these also are in all different sizes, from teeny weeny to big. There's uh, 110 pieces in here. Yeah, 110 pieces in that one. Okay. And we got in her uh, Finnebar's uh, snowflake paste which is a nice three-dimensional paste that will look like snow when it's when it's dry 
because it can either be smooth or you can do it three-dimensionally. That's nice. And then we have uh, mechanicals, and these look like little screw heads. Again, just more embellishments for your art. Um, I thought her brush set was really nice. Okay. Uh, there's seven brushes in here, and they're all they're very nice size, and uh, they look like they'll hold up to all our crazy crafting experience. And here's the more detail set of them. I'm getting a bit of a glare there. Um, this one has uh, uh, four brushes in it, but it also has at the bottom their texturizing tips. So you can make all different kinds of crazy designs in your gel plate or thereabouts. Okay, so I also got in some of her stamps. That's one, two, three. I love this one. Four. So this is four different ones I've gotten in from Kinnabob. And uh, here's some uh, more metal from her. I have a lot of metal in the store already, but here's some very pretty butterflies. And uh, another thing she does that's really interesting, and I need to order some more of these, uh, but, but you can use air dry clay also, but she has a modeling material that she uses. And these are her uh, molds. So you can make your own uh, elements. Uh, there's a picture of all the elements that it makes. You can use these, and then you can use it with her gilding paste, or uh, you can paint them, or whatever, and make basically make your own embellishments. And let's see, we got new from Ranger. Um, actually, this is kind of a restock. These were uh, Diane Reevely's uh, last release. And um, I just learned from her um, this week. Oops. Let's not drop the glue on the, on the computer here. Uh, I just learned from her last week some new tips and techniques. And of course, I don't see my samples anywhere. Um, I will uh, get to another journaling class with that, which we will call uh, something dilutional. Um, I also got in um, alcohol ink UPO paper from Ranger, and I also am getting in, I think they're going to be here tomorrow, all the new two ounce colors of alcohol ink. I, I have alcohol ink in stock. I don't know how many people are aware of that, and that's another class that I'll have to set up and design now that I'm a little bit more organized in the store. We also got in the uh, alcohol ink tool sets that come with a little mini mister and a couple of little detailed brushes. Okay, and moving right along, more from the Crafters Workshop. We got another stencil in from them. And this is an oldie but a goodie. Uh, it's really nice for mixed media backgrounds or uh, generic backgrounds for men or whatever on your cards. That one works really well. And this is a fairly new company for me. Um, it's called uh, Colorado Craft Company. And this set is really, really cute with the mouse is uh, for Father's Day. And I know I got matching stencils on some of them. So let me see. Um, this is um, a graduation set with uh, cats, dogs, and rabbits in it, and this one, and mice, and this one does have a matching die to cut out that big stamp. These are all polymer, uh, I believe, or acrylic. They don't say. They never do. Um, this one I just thought was beautiful. For my bird people out there, um, I think it's a gorgeous uh, stamp, and it says, let the beauty of what you love be what you do. And uh, if you want to fly, give up everything that weighs you down, like my hips. Uh, where there is love, there is life. And hello, dear friend. And robins appear when loved ones are near. Okay. That one also matching by. Okay. And 
without matching bag. Um, this is the Happy Mother's Day, which I know is past, but it could be a get well card as well with the uh, person in bed with the tea cart and all that. And I just thought it was cute. So there you go. And this one is also from Colorado. Pet. Come on, get down there. Let me do that. Uh, it says, Be still and know that I am God. Uh, you are treasured. God's timing is perfect. Has a little mouse and a really cute little thing of flowers with little mices in them. So this would make a very nice inspirational card for somebody. Uh, slim line card for Miss Deb. She knows who she is. It's here. Okay. That's a special for somebody. Um, you do know we special order on pretty much almost anything you want. It takes us a week, week and a half, sometimes two weeks, depending on how shipping's going uh, to get something in. Um, and you don't have to pay any shipping or anything I do. So if you something special that you want, um, you just have to let us know. And if we can get it for you, we will. Uh, another thing I brought in, I don't have a lot from this company. They are coming, though. This is Maker Forte. Uh, they're based in Tampa or in the Tampa area. Um, this is a black ink pad, and it's a water-based um, ink pad that uh, just really works really, really well. Okay, um, I was kind of, uh, it's called Remarkable Ink Pad, okay? Uh, it just really worked well, and it works with alcohol inks or watercolor or anything. So I brought a few of those in for you people that uh, are interested in attempting it. Uh, one of their stencils. Um, I have some other products, but I didn't get the whole thing in, so I'm going to kind of hold that off until... I get everything in to show you all at once because it's pieces and parts of some stuff that works together. Um, just because we need some uh, rub-on transfers uh, from uh, for oh some of the uh, like Seth Apter likes to use rub-on transfers in his artwork. Um, so I got in this uh, package from Studio Light that has alphabets, numbers, and sayings in it. I don't know, it's going to be really hard to read on there, but there's a lot of stuff. There's six sheets in there, so that was a good buy. Uh, Vicki Buchan. Um, I don't know if I had this one in before or not, but I did not have it in stock. So there you go. There's three uh, stencils for $5.99. Unbelievable, these uh, grouping of stencils. She has... Uh, Probably, um, at this point, I think there's six different varieties. And so you get three stencils for $5.99. It's just mind-blowing. And I decided to try her crayons. Uh, they're water-soluble crayons uh, and can be used wet or dry. So, again, for your mixed-media art, I thought that was, I told you, it was a lot of stuff. I ain't even finished it. Okay. So, Mel. Hey, Mel. They finally came in, okay? The Studio Light Marlene Rhinestone that poor Mel's been waiting for forever. I also did get in all of the different color sets of the Tombow Dual Brush Markers. This is um, another class that I will be doing, showing you how these work, because you can do some pretty amazing stuff with the Tombow Markers. Plus, we also have their blending kit. So... You can use these with their blending. Each each one of these sets comes with a blending marker, too. But the blending set comes with a plastic sheet that you can use to blend your colors together on and a little mister to water them down um, so you get more of a watercolor effect. But be on the lookout for a class showing how to use these. And I have uh, every color set that they made came in. Okay, and then uh, one of my favorites, uh, 49 and Market. This is washi tape. Okay, I know it looks interesting, right? Well, you can color this washi tape and then put it on something um, like... Can I reach that again? 
Um, you'll notice we did it on the back of this book with a, uh, it was a topical, like a earth science map, a topical map that we used for the hiking uh, thing there, the hiking book. And then you have these and this side of washi tape. These are all die cut. So when you cut, you can color these and then just peel off and they're completely clear when they go down. All you see is the image. Absolutely amazing job the 49 and market it. And that's with uh, this group, which is uh, the essentials um, from uh, their aunt <laughs> Artistry Essentials is the is this line, okay? And well, saw the sticker on there, but this is one of the pages that just came in with that. This is a favorite of mine. Look at that. This can be used for a gazillion different things. There's the back. That's the front. That's the back. I love 49 and Market. It is probably the heaviest paper. That's the back. That's the front. Uh, that is out there and uh, it just works beautifully for cards, for your mixed media, for everything. And uh, we don't charge a premium for it. It's the same price as any of our other 12 by 12 double-sided papers. This one I couldn't decide which side to use. Look, you know, you can actually cut that. Oh my God, now I have a pretty card from just like that. Just cut that. Oh, there I go. Okay. Um, this one, but you know, I get the whole line. Which it to me may be the most beautiful thing in the world to you. Oh, uh, what? Okay. See? And plain. Just gorgeous. And uh, believe it or not, oh, wait, one more thing. I got in these wonderful food, food, food ball pens, food Osaki or glasses. What do they call them? Yeah, food no suki. Um, they are extremely, extremely fine point pens for doing marks. Very, very nice fine line. See the different marks that I did with it. These are wonderful pigment pens, they're permanent ink, and uh, I just couldn't do without them. I love food balls. Uh, I love all the, that type of Japanese um, ink and markers and such. And this video went way over what I normally do. Uh, so I'm going to say ta-ta. Come visit us at Betty's Creative Studio, 2143. West Norville Bryant Highway in lovely Lakanto, Florida. Again, our phone number is 352-513-4366. Or discover us on the web at bettyscreativeshop.com. And that uh, website has everything that I have in the store. Except what you want to match, but everything I have in the store. Okay? So uh, it's time to say ta-ta. And see you soon.